Libra, hi. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. May 2018. Libra, sun, moon, and rising. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, so here's the deal. April, you know, we usually consider that spring cleaning time. Everyone's cleaning their closets. I can't really tell you how many times I've been in my closet. A lot more than just spring cleaning, can I tell you? All right, so anyway, this time frame with all the readings, and I don't know, for whatever reason, I have been lighting this green, dark green candle for a reason. I lit it before, when I first started all the readings, and um, I feel that because we're all going through a karmic ending, a lot of the signs are going through it, so what we need most of all right now is healing. Forgiving and healing. Karmic endings are happening for a lot of us right now. These are blessings from the universe, even though they don't look like it. They are. We never understand things until you look back, right? Hindsight. You look back and say, oh, yeah. Gosh, thank God that happened. You never see it coming. You know, it's hard to see it coming, especially when you're in the eye of the storm, right? All right, so Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. May 2018. We need a couple more shuffles, guys. Okay. A couple more shuffles. Feeling balanced, right, Libras? Getting our balance back. Yes, that was beautiful. Okay, we're ready. Okay, um, I love this new format. I'm going to keep it for every for the monthlies. Um, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So I just put three stacks together, and then we just let the story unfold as it will. And then when the last card comes out on whichever stack comes first, then, you know, we'll turn all the cards around, okay? Libra. Oh my God, hello. Look, Libra. Love, love, love. Love of self, I hear. Love of self. Full moon behind you. New love. New love, yes. New love coming right at you. Gosh, I love this. This is great, Libra. Hello. No more sleepless nights. Libra, you guys got your shit together. We do have an unhappy external Aries Leo Sagittarius, however, right now who might have been hoping to have this new love with you, but it doesn't look like it right now. Someone is holding on to some information. I'm not thinking it's, uh, it's not bad info, but someone feels some way and they're not speaking up. Someone's holding on to their emotions. Yep. They want to offer, but they're scared of being rejected. They're really scared of being rejected. I think it's this Leo Aries Sagittarius. Otherwise, it's it's external to you and you're the one feeling like you're not telling the truth about your feelings to someone. There could be a third situation, but no longer is that correct. There's no third party going on, thank God. You're not fighting anymore in your head. You're clear, th you're clear in thought. Libra, this is great. You don't want any more one night stands. Not saying bad. You want real. You guys are going for the real love, the big love. And you're not settling. Now we have a Virgo Taurus Capricorn in the mist. Let's see how this unfolds. 
Okay, so right now there's no movement with regard to this, but there will be. Now you have to be careful with this card. You know, I love all these aces, I do, but I have just recently saw this little weasel in this card. I do see this as a weasel. And I'm telling you now that someone may be in this just for the money. So watch out if a new love is coming in, they may just want money. They want to be financially independent or they are financially independent and vice versa. I don't feel good when I see this card and I used to with the Ace of Pentacles and now I just don't. So money and love, they want to give you Libra. And you're having, you're having to deal with people who are not being true to who they say they are. There are people that are external here in the situation that are not happy with your decisions. But that's okay because it's your decisions. So you're going to just say, hey, you know what? I'm choosing to do what I want. This is... This is my life and I've chosen to change my perspective and, and keep, keep moving on. I'm going to just change my perspective. This could be a marriage. Someone could be married and someone needs to change their perspective about that. Someone's holding on in a marriage and not being true to their emotions, their feelings. There's also a new love coming in, and this is a wish come true for you, Libra. It's beautiful. This wish is beautiful. Oh my God, come on, bring it on. Libras, you've needed this. So once this truth comes out, there's gonna be, and you change perspective, you're changing your perspective about something or someone, it's gonna be full on, let's go. And also this new love could also want a commitment with you all right this is big love this is marriage commitment love being offered this isn't just like you know but be careful i am gonna warn you because that's what these readings are about there's a weasel in this this pentacle and the moon is there okay and that's what i see so if that's if I'm being if my eye is going to that in that card, then just be forewarned. Someone may want the whole thing, but you know, marriage, love, commitment, it's a wish dream come true, but you just take a minute to think about everything. Marriage, love, commitment, big love, big love. Right? This nine with the ace comes out to the big love. The big love that you're waiting for. You're not gonna settle. Libras, come on. You beautiful Libras, not settling. You kinda are flying by the seat of your pants because something already happened and it's, it's happened. And we're, we're now moving, we're not sure which direction that we're gonna head, right? We're not sure, but we're going to take it. We're going to, we're not sure which direction we're going. I have to stay with it, what I hear until this potential reconciliation of big love happens and it happens and it shakes your world. It hasn't happened yet. It's coming. It's coming, Libra. The horn is going to, the horn's going to blow. The big love's going to come. It's a wish come true. You're not going to see it coming. You're going to be like, you're going to, it's going to shake you up. It's going to be a good thing too. I feel it's a good thing. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a blessing in disguise. This is great. Okay. This is really good. No more burdens. We've, we've released our past. 
We've released the past. We're not hanging on to anything, especially not heartbreak. So, okay, if you were heartbreak, heartbroken about something, you're releasing it now. Someone, I think this is external to you, Gemini. Oh, I said Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra. You're releasing the past. And it, you know what? Okay, here you go. I see this as you're releasing the past. You're happy but sad at the same time. You know that new love is on its way. You can feel it in your bones. But at the same time, with every ending comes sadness, right? When one door closes, another door opens. And you can't help but be sad. But you have been enlightened. You did your, your work. You have done your work. And that's why the blessings are coming, Libra. You've done your work. You've done your due diligence. And now this pink moon that's coming tonight, everything's going to change because you did your work. Work. You're working on also a project that's coming, slowly coming. It's slowly manifesting, but it's definitely on its way. And you're going to be amazingly happy with this gift that is coming to you. Libra. Forget about this. This, this, someone may be making you feel like victim. Someone may be in your midst. It could be, this could be a divorce that came, that's coming through, that's finally coming, you know, that's finally becoming finalized, being finalized, and you're feeling or that person is feeling, you know, backstabbed. But it's not really a backstab as much as it is, look at the deer is there. It's find peace and solace in this ending. Find peace, find peace, be at peace, okay? Be at peace, it's good, it's not bad. It's not bad. You're going to be involved in this huge commitment after this happens, after it's final that this, this, whoever had to walk away had to walk away. It's a blessing for this to come in. <laughs> I'm telling you, all these readings, that's why I'm lighting, I lit this dark green candle. It looks black, but it's not, guys. It's dark green. It's hunter green. Because we want peace. And we want our, we're waiting for our ships to come in. And we know it's coming. We know it's coming. You can feel it. I'm a Libra rising. I'm telling you, we can feel it. Things are changing. Things are shifting. We are forgiving others. We are at peace. Even though there's heartbreak, always heartbreak. I mean, you can't help it. When there's an ending, it's a heart, it's heartbreak. It's heartbreaking. Now we have the King of Pentacles. So this person could be external to you, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, who's predominant in your life right now. And then we have someone saying, I don't want to work at, I don't want to work hard on this. Maybe you don't, maybe this isn't the person that you're thinking about. Maybe that person is not working hard at keeping the situation together. And, you know, you're planning on walking. Because you're. it's not happening. I'm seeing this as something that already manifested. Okay. Yeah, it already happened. And there are people external to you that is is going to hear about this ending. It's going to be, you know, not in the papers, I mean, you know, but someone who is seen in the limelight. You're going to hear about an ending. This could not this doesn't have to be your per se ending of something that has happened. 
This could be someone else coming to you about an ending that happened to them and they're heartbroken and they're coming to you to tell you about it. And it, it could be a public figure and you don't see it coming. Again, you don't see this coming. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's the karmic, the karmic cycle has ended for you, Libra, and or whoever's external to you and you're dealing with. The cycle has ended. The intuition, you knew it was happening, but you weren't sure it was happening. That's what I feel when I see this reverse because she's got a, a mask on her face, but the face is still, she can still see out of it. So she's she knew it innately, she knew, or he knew innately this and this was happening, but couldn't pinpoint it. Because someone was not telling the truth. And that's why. You got to tell the truth. So you're waiting for... You're waiting for your ships to come in. And you're waiting... Oh, this could be clearly you. It is you. So you're not feeling good about it. This could be you or another Libra, Gemini, Aquarian around you. And it looks like maybe someone did you wrong. And it was ending. There was an, a karmic ending had to happen. It's either with someone that you're dealing with and you're not, you're still not like feeling good about it. And you're waiting and you've and or you've heard about someone else's marriage that has been and is going to end and it comes out in public yes you're definitely getting a message email message text message finding the strength to go on because you're hurting about it it could be someone else's but it's, it's someone very close to you or it is you. And it's coming out into the open. But the good news is we're financially feeling really good. We've got our act together. So, you know, right? Usually that's like, that's just like a catch 22. When love is not great, money is always great and vice versa. Right, but it's okay. It's gonna all turn out good because, oh, thank you. The devil is reversed. So a karmic cycle that's ended is clearly ended due to addiction. And that's why it's ended. It's either your marriage, your relationship, or someone very near and dear to you. But it's ended. And it's gonna be some something that everybody learns about. And now you're emotionally feeling better, or this is an external um, person to you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I think you're feeling really good emotionally right now because you're sitting, I really think, think this is you, Libra, feeling emotionally stable and financially very stable because you took out what you knew wasn't, doing you any good. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it. And you're getting ready to move forward and start a new life. This isn't gonna apply to everyone. And, and you're hoping for that new love. You're hoping for that cycle. Okay, so the cycle needs to end completely so that we're going to turn this baby around. So the cycle is going to end you're going to be fine. You've learned. Now hear me out. You've learned because this is no longer part of your, your environment. You have learned that this is not what you want. You don't want a love that has addictive cycles of, you know, that's 
this is karmic debt that you're going to have to pay when you get involved in in this kind of situation, a relationship that has addictions. Codependency, alcoholism, sex addiction, whatever it is, you have to get out of it. And that's when all these three cards, when everything gets said, when everything is said and done, these three cards will write themselves up. So you're just kind of waiting until that happens, which is very, it's happening now in May. It's happening in May. It's going to happen in May. Someone, see, this could be uh, clearly you and whoever, you know, you're dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces who's not happy about this happening. This could be someone external. It could be a friend. It could be someone who just doesn't, like, is really unhappy. But it doesn't matter because you're moving forward. Once this wheel turns itself around. It has not yet. The ending is happening. And you're no longer letting anybody in your circle who is not worthy of what you represent. Thank hallelujah. No more. No mas. Six of Pentacles reverse. Perfect. We are we once everything once everything ends and this wheel of fortune turns around that's it hang on to your hang on to your hats libra you guys are going to be like you're going to be fearless no more no more thinking too much overthinking now we want movement we're ready truth movement and keeping our ideas and thoughts to ourselves so that we can move forward with the right kind of circle of people in our environment. Okay, so this is the last card. No more manipulation, no more manifesting some someone trying to manipulate you. No way, no more, you're not having it. Okay, so there's amazing good reading here, Libra. We have no more manipulation. We have happy, happy situation because we're at peace with how our home life is going and that this is no longer part of it. We're at peace. Okay. And then the final card is, well, now what? You know, where do we go from here? Someone else had this. It would be funny if it was Gemini. I can't quite remember. Okay, so we move these cards up. So we have no more... No more manipulations from exterior, we're comfortable, we're feeling at peace with where we're at in our environment, in our home, and then now it's just a matter of, okay, where do we go from here? Which is really good. Now let's go to our romance. I'm using, oh, this was the Gilded Tarot, if I didn't mention, okay? All right, Libra, now let's do the Doreen Virtue Romance Oracle Angel Cards. Keeping a positive attitude, changing your perspective, be playful now, go out, have fun. Do you know the you know that big love is is on its way. As soon, as soon as all of this closes itself up, bam. New love. Everything just has to finalize. And if it's not, it's just whatever ending has to happen is going to happen. It may be June. It may be coming in as June. Okay? Just feel the love within your heart. Feel the peace within your heart that you've worked on not repeating karmic cycles. Oh my God, great, 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 Libra. So happy. And why? Because you forgave and learned your karmic lessons. Yes, and when that happens, let me tell you, here you go. You have forgiven those who have been wrongfully manipulating situations. You have learned 
and you no longer are putting those people in your environment. When that happens, Libra, the universe gets you with the soulmate that is the big love coming in. I just using soulmate because it's in the card, all right? But you're calling in the big love. You're you're like, okay, I've learned my lessons. That devil reversed is huge for you guys. That's not an easy thing to do. You have to forgive and learn those. Lessons are hard. The wheel is going to turn around now and bring this great love to you. Love of self, you've already felt it because you have forgiven yourself as well as others. That's what the card is. You have forgiven yourself and others. You see there's others and yourself. So in order to do that, everyone has learned a very valuable lesson in this, in this juncture right now, all right? This is really, really good. I think that the, the, I think the forgiving and learning is now still kind of happening. And I think that in June, the, the wheel will finalize, the death card will turn around, everything is gonna be finalized probably end of May, June. And then you're getting to know this soulmate, this new person that's coming into your sphere the new person coming in to, to, to get to know you. This is great, right? See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you learn and forgive. This is what happens. This, you're, you guys are the only sign that had this happen to, whereby you've learned your lesson and you've forgiven and you've, you're, you're moving on now, and you're not allowing this repeated cycle to continue because you've learned and you've forgiven and you've released it. You've released it, look. And now what? Where do I go now? Because you've released it, okay? You gave it to the universe to heal. You're still healing. We're not gonna say, well, you're not. The Three of Swords was right there but it's an ending that may be bittersweet from long ago, but it doesn't matter because guess what? You have achieved. I love it. I really love it, Libra. Great, great job. I'm using the Ascended Master cards to reveal our last and final card that summarizes this reading for you. Really great reading. And I am saying it correctly. It says it right here. These cards, you know, they're not going to lie. So now you're going through a healing, okay? And you're the you're the lotus. You're in, you're the actual flower blooming now, because you've done this, and you're being gifted this great love. You know, this is this is the this is Venus, the angel of. Venus, who's giving you this great love here. You don't, you're not even going to see, I, I think you're not going to see it coming. You're going to be like, holy cow. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what you're going to say. Wow. Wow. You're not even going to believe it. It's going to be beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. For Libra. It's going to be beautiful. Just beautiful. Even Ganache says yes. <laughs> I love it. I love these cards. You're attracting what you so rightfully deserve. That's what we attract, Libras. We attract what we deserve. When we raise our vibration through forgiving, learning, learning our lessons, forgiving ourselves, forgiving others, then we get, we get exactly that. We are now at a new vibration. We are, we've graduated. We've graduated. All right, let's see what the Ascended Masters say for you. It's right there. And when you graduate, you get the gift of the Midas touch. This card to me is the Midas touch. This is pan. This is fertility. This is growth. This is healing. You are still healing. 
Let's not forget, you're still healing. The clouds are dissipating. In the clouds, there is a rainbow. Blessings in disguise, whatever has happened, is blessed from the universe coming to you. The flowers of truth, fertility is yours. You can have whatever you want. I just heard that song. I sang that earlier in another in one of the other readings. That's scary. All right, you can have Libra whatever you want now because you have you have done really good. The universe is gifting you with many blessings. So go and do and be all that that you are. Okay. Um I wish you a blessed May. I'll see you in June. For those of you who haven't watched, I do um, weeklies now. I love my format for my weeklies. They're, um, they're childhood self, present self, and higher self meshing together to give you really clear messages on healing also yourself with childhood past, stuff like that, past life um, healings, as well as what your higher self, you're all living parallel lives, so you're learning together, right? And healing together. Okay, I wish you a great month and I'll see you next month. Okay, bye.